Whenever I make an Anki video, the number one question that I get is people saying, what's that pink thing? What are you holding? What's that clicker? And so today we are going to do a review of the 8-Bit DO remote and the Anki remote so I can compare them so that you know which one to buy. So we're going to compare them based on price and general usage and starting with the 8-Bit DO, one of the main pros is that it's only $19 so it's pretty affordable. Second thing is that it comes in a lot of colors. I think it comes in pink, blue, yellow, green, so there's a lot of variety. And third thing I would say is that it holds charge very well. I would say that you can at least get three days and then honestly you can maybe even get a whole week depending on how much you use it. Last pro is the wrist strap. I use this a lot while walking on the treadmill and it's nice so I don't drop it. Cons, I would say the biggest thing is probably that you have to set it up yourself and you have to pair it yourself and program it yourself. Another con is that you can only use this if it's connected to a computer because you have to download this software and the software is how you program it. And another thing is that if you use a Windows device, you have to keep the software open on your computer at all times. I don't think that's the same for Mac, but it's definitely for Windows. Last thing, which I have not personally experienced, but a lot of people I know have, is that it will randomly unpair itself or it'll stop working or it'll kind of like not connect to the software and the software will unprogram itself and then you'll have to reprogram the whole thing. Now, a review of the Anki remote. First pro, and I'd say probably the biggest thing, is that it's prepared. It comes with two different modes that are already compatible with Anki, and then you can also go onto their website and you can customize it more if you don't like like how they pre-programmed it, you can change the programming, which is really nice because it's very simple setup. Second thing is that it's pretty ergonomic when you hold it in your hands, so it's got like a good curvature to it and it's a comfortable hold. Also, the buttons are very squishy, like they're very easy to press and they're comfortable to press and they're not loud. They don't make a clicking sound at all so you could do this kind of like secretly in class if you needed to and really quickly I forgot to say this before the buttons on this if you can hear do make a clicking sound so that's something to keep in mind the next thing is that this is Bluetooth compatible, so it's super easy to set up to your computer, but it's also really easy to use if you are gonna put it on an iPad and do Anki on your iPad, which is something that the um, other remote cannot do. For the cons for this one, I would say that the price, it's $45, so it is a little bit more expensive than the other one. The fact that it doesn't come in any other colors other than black and that there's no wrist strap. Overall, I really like them both. If you're on a very tight budget, I would definitely say go for the $19 one. It'll serve your purposes fine. Overall though, I would probably suggest the Anki remote and the reasons why are that it's very easy to use, it's very easy to pair, and because of that Bluetooth, it's not gonna have those connectivity issues that we have with the other one. Also, it's made by people who use Anki. It's made for Anki and because of that, I feel like they could be very responsive to some of the things that I highlighted that we can maybe use, like more colors or a wrist strap. And so they might make changes and they're always adding updates and adding more features to this. Whereas you're definitely limited to the features that are already um, associated with the remote if you use the other one. Hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any other questions and let me know which one you're gonna choose. Bye.